Hello YouTube, Damo underscore 23 here and welcome back to another episode of Glory Hunter. Today's episode, we have got episode number 105. We're building our squad to assault the German DP Pockel and uh, Bundesliga missions at hand. And uh, in doing so, we're going to be going through some signings and we'll be giving you a game to start us off in the Bundesliga. With that being said, if you do like the content, give it a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And without further ado, let's get straight into it. I'm here on the 22nd of June. If you haven't watched last episode, the first 16 minutes is me breaking down what we're going to do with this Dortmund squad in more in depth than I'm doing here. And then on top of that as well, we also had a pretty crazy game against Spain in the, you know, the International Super Cup between the Euros and Copa America winners. We have made a signing, and that's why we're here on the 22nd of June, and his name is Hiroshi Iremoto. And yes, people know I've had him before. This is the first time I'm bringing him in to actually be a first team starter, though, for me, and I'm really, really excited. The Norwegian, who is Japanese by descendancy, but he played in Norway, qualified for Norway, now plays... Um, for the Norwegian national side. We bought for nine mil at AC Milan. We played him seven games, then nine games, and really transferred him into being this little, very well wonder kid into a guy with a lot of potential in the standing of the game. We brought him in in the same window that we brought in Roman Tisney at Milan and, of course, at Newcastle. And all at Newcastle, he has been killing it. We brought him in and he played 11 games starting, 10 games starting. We left the club at 11, 17, 17, and then... 21 last season. He is fantastic on a big old deal. He's your first player coming in. And look how good he really is. You can play him as a good and volante role. You can play him here as a roaming playmaker. It doesn't matter how you use him. He is pretty fantastic. Physically dynamite. Mentally unbelievable. Can pass. Got great technique. Can also do defending work as well. And well, when you've watched him play for me in my Newcastle side of this say, he was like a little Conte. He would come in with 15 minutes to go and win the ball back all the time. And I think he's a perfect player to put alongside pass to either be a bit more defensive or I am actually tempted to go on at both and just be creative dynamos and just go, mate, if we're going to concede two, we're going to score five because these guys are going to create enough chances. I think it's a fantastic deal. Um, it's rising up to 76 mil. Um, a lot of money's coming out of the budget already. 41 mil, 30 of them going over to... Um, 30 of that going over to Newcastle. Uh, 59 guaranteed after clauses, etc. We also are giving him 10 mil in order to sign for us. He's on bigger wages and the same amount of rate as Haas. But he's coming in to be one of our best midfielders. So without further ado, it's Iromoto. And well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that is signing number one. And I cannot wait, cannot wait to uh, have a look at what we are gonna, what he's gonna look like as well. Um, he doesn't join until the first, uh, but when he does, we'll add him into the little squad. He goes into this role here. Don't know if it's gonna be deep line, ball winning, good or or a, um, or even thinking roaming playmaker because he's so good at doing everything. Um, and just letting these two and Manuz create for the rest of the boys bombing on like Ernest, just being Bao, Blesser and Real, and just leave Paul Linden and Reed to just do whatever they can. Um, but with that being said, fantastic little squad. Got a few other spots that we need to fill up as well. Maybe another backup centre mid. Um, I'm actually looking maybe to for a world-class centre back alongside um, Linden and Reed actually goes to the bench. Reed's wanted by a lot of clubs like Real Madrid, etc. So there's got to be some things happening in this episode, but Iremoto is the first signing you will see. You should give the episode a like for us teaming up with yet again one of our former players. Well, YouTube, when you have the money and you have the finances of 370 in your balance, you've got to sometimes just go, when you don't need many players, you've got to go for class. And well, 51 mil about to come out of a 127 mil transfer budget. It will guarantee rise to 100 mil. It's 50 mil up front, 50 mil over three years. And we have signed a centre-back from Aston Villa that is out of this world. Announcing Manuel Arbru, who will be your new centre-back partner alongside Linden. The ball-playing covering defender is outrageous. He is physically a monster, mentally fantastic, and technically not too bad as well. When you compare him to Roy, who will be coming in over, who, to be fair to Roy, has done nothing wrong and has been fantastic and was pushing for a Brazilian spot. Um, still could be. You just have a look at it mentally and physically, and you go, 
physical, pretty close, and Rui's actually slightly quicker. But mentally, this guy is just next level. He is one of the best in the world. Technically, a better defender as well. Better tackling. Also got uh, similar marking. Better on the ball as well than Rui. With a better first touch. I think it just makes a lot of sense. It's important to note as well that Arbery is six foot four. He's a big boy at the back. I will say Rui is also a big boy too. Like he's six foot one. Linden, however, does get preference here because he's six foot. But unlike Rui, this guy is twenty and will probably outgrow all of them and become one of the best centre backs in the game by the end of the game cycle in the twenty years. So Manuel Arbery comes in. The main reason that I'm happy to do this is we got out of nowhere a pretty interesting bid. Uh, for Tomori from Bayern. They don't need him. He's declining like nothing, and they're willing to give me free meal and to take his 115k off the wage budget. I was like, okay, that frees up my money to sign Arbor. Um, That makes my finances look like this now. Um, as he comes in, it looks absolutely huge. 320 in the balance, 75 mil still in a transfer budget. Still got $1.1 million in wage that I could spend because we have that much money, and our business is done. And he is fantastic. I'm surprised no one's actually come in here to say, hey, is someone going to, uh, is he going to replace Rory or something? But yeah, he, he comes. He wanted to come in. Going to sign him a squad number now. I don't know what to give him because he needs a good number. I'm going to have to give him number 20, number 13 or 25. We're going to give him 25. All right? Because I can live with that. Um, and yeah, well, look. It, ha Simmons, Manuz, and Irimoto at the moment have sold shirts. Irimoto has only been at the club. For this window, he's already sold 6,715 shirts. That will be massive, right? 90,000 shirts sold already this year, and we're in August, and we sold 625. And yeah, we're going to make a lot of money there as well. Arbor is in. CO comes out the team. Arbor into there. Arbor comes in for Roy, and uh, Arbor is going in as a ball playing defender on cover. Straight away, because he can play. And well, boys... That is an outrageous starting 11. An outrageous starting 11. Have a look at the season preview. Take this off. Arbury gets into the national media dream 11 as a defensive midfielder. He actually wanted to play DM. He's like, can I, I want to come in here to be deep line planner. No, I'm signing Roboto for that. Have a look at our starting 11 that the game thinks it will be. It's... Nito, Ernest, Arbery, Linden, Seppi. They've got that nailed. Irimoto and Haas, nailed. Blesser, Mendozin, Castro, Real. It's Real over Castro and Dow is going to play on the left. But pretty much 10 of the 11 players, the media and me have predicted are like on the, on the money. If you have a look at the odds, buying it outrageous. But we've managed to get our odds to within 3-1 to one of winning the title. 3-1. to one, Which means that we've got those odds right down and the game records that we're very close to Bayern with Bayern just edging us. I tell you what, Bayern are getting a little older too. You know, their average age is 29. I think they're there for the taking and very similar to what we did to PSG at Monaco. We ignored them and then PSG got that just that touch too old and as they got over the hill, we took off and absolutely mauled PSG now last year at Monaco. Mauled them. I'm telling you right now, if we saw Monaco boss, we'd win the league the next 10 bloody years in a row because PSG were over the hill. I think this buy side is getting that point. I think we're right now in a position where we've got a world-class team in general, but world-class centre-back now alongside a young centre-back that is developing into world-class, alongside everything that you need, I think we're in a fantastic position. And, well, I'm be interested to see what we can do somehow. That needs to go into there. I have made a mistake here somewhere. Tactics is like out position. Something's gone on there. I'll check that out in a second. Anyhow, this team is fantastic. Next time you see me, it'll be the opening day of the season against Nuremberg where we'll see how we go in our first competitive game in the league. Welcome back into it, YouTube. It was two days ago we announced Arbury and now it's the opening day of the season. In saying that, on the eve of our first game, we caught two first team injuries, which I'm very annoyed about. So for the start of the season, Muhammad Adam, who, by the way, went out on loan. We've mentioned him in, in a lot, but went out on loan on the DFB Popple Hoffenheim, 24 starts in a mid-table season for them. 
Wood's going to be our backup defensive midfielder. Is out for the next two to three weeks. But more importantly, Blesser, who has been fantastic, stowing crazy, just did so well in the cup for us as well. Got a goal in the cup, which I'm about to recap as well. Picks up an injury um, on the night before. And yeah, pre-season, fantastic. We absolutely pumped a couple of sides. Went to Australia and played St. George, um, who are a local Sydney side. Uh, we pumped them. We actually beat PSG 2-1 in the Hakimi's testimonial. 4 0 against um, Newcastle's ISA testimonial. Beat uh, Spurs 3-1. And then in the first round of the cup, a non-league side, we won 5 0 with some slight rotation in there as well. Now, without further ado, let's get into this game here to start the season. It's Leto in net with Ernest, Arbery, Linden and Giuseppe. Irimoto and Haas. Real's actually gone to the right for this game with Minuzzi, Vial on the left, and Diego Castro will now play up front. I could have played Roberto or moved Mineva around or anything like that, but the game has often told me that Real can play out wide and Castro should be starting, so here we are. I'm going to do that indeed for this game here. Now, without further ado, let's get into it. I'm very interested to see how we go. Um, against a team like Nuremberg, I expect us to pump them. However, FM is never that easy, and I did have a guy up front that I have seen, um, and sometimes on FM is absolutely outrageous, and that is uh, Ali Cho. That's probably one of the worst Ali Cho's I've seen. In my save with Paris Fede and Atletico, he's my starting striker alongside Mbappe in France, and he's outrageous. Um, but yeah. Anyway, away we go. Opening day. Very good team. That bench has got Carlos, Canate, Rui, Kessie, Tyrone could make his debut in the league as well. You've got Minev on the bench. Chappy Simmons is on the bench. It's a star-studded bench. We're actually getting to the stage where Mike, this team is really good. And there is an attacking midfielder who's at Milan that I could go for and sell Chappy Simmons. And the problem is, is he would want to be first choice over Minuzzi and that's not happening. Anyhow, 15 minutes played. It's new new here. First game of the season. Hopefully, this is not going to stay like this for long. But 25 minutes in, struggling to find a highlight. But here we are. Marino goes long. Picked off by Haas. Real now on the ball. Great work of Giuseppe, who, by the way, would be a world-class left winger. But uh, is a very, very good rock, a left back and will play there. Arbery looks massive like a tank in the engine. Ernest now. Gets to the byline. Cuts it. Real's there. It's 1-0. A little bit lucky that it falls to Real at the front stick. But Alfredo Real, who wanted to stay after we finished in the Champions League, and I rejected 90-something million from Barcelona in during this stream, as we are live on stream links down below. Um, we've scored 1-0 and he's opened his account. A little bit lucky, falls to us there, and in the end, that could be the goal that opens the floodgates here today, as now Nuremberg need to come out. Munuzi on the corner, whips one front stick. Arbery was around, but didn't get on it. And maybe on the break, come Nuremberg. Yeah, we haven't got too much forward here, but this guy here in Effie Keller has done well to hold it up. And maybe Nuremberg out of nothing can produce. And well, that's a decent ball, but no one made a run, and Leto will be able to calm it down. Linden now finds Irimoto on his debut. Giuseppe, Irimoto out of the boot looking for Vial. Oh, he's much better when he keeps it simple, Irimoto. But um, he had some really good games in preseason. Looking to press again here. And, well, Manuzzi wins, and Vial's going to pick that one up. And he needs options inside. Haas driving. 1-2. Didn't work. Haas wins that one. Falls to Castro. He pops it in, but I think he's offside, unfortunately. Um, not the cleanest highlight, but it'll be nice if this one's on target. Let's see if they start celebrating or not in the top right-hand corner. They have. That means it's going to get given. It is going to be 2-0. Haas with a ball. Got to overhit that one. Heads it in, well, yeah, it's actually the fullback that trapped with Bowser run and kept them all onside. And Castro, no nonsense from the Uruguayan, just side foots it past the keeper. And when you've got a world class strike and a world cup, world class backup strike, you're pretty happy. And well, we're very lucky that that is onside and that is 2 0, because that wasn't the best highlight from us. But we lead 2 0, and that's what we want to see. And we're dominating this first half, it has to be said. Time ticks away here. We're looking to get into the break at 2-0 when we do. And, well, so far, boys, it's been a very, very good opening day. The team looking fantastic. The only one I would say is Hiromoto, who has had such a great preseason, has been pretty poor today. Anyway, Manuzzi. Front stick again. Doesn't win. Vow. Ernest. Forward about shooting. Decides to go back to Haas, which is fine. Who can create. 
He finds Arbery. Iremoto, great boy out of Giuseppe. He can come inside and look the score if he wants. Then he looked to cut one. Would have preferred to see him try and shimmy, get inside on that right peg and have a dig with that 16 finishing. But anyway, Marino now goes long. Picked off by Ernest. Haas. Real. Looks for Castro. Flicks on the Manuzzi. That's a great flick on. Unfortunately, overran the uh, opportunity to shoot there, really. But uh, highlight continues now with Haas and Manuz. Castro coming back on side. No, he didn't, and that's going to be the highlight. Another one in quick succession now with Val. Irimoto, Giuseppe. Irimoto now. Castro looked offside as he tried to play that ball. Irimoto in preseason kept it all simple. Today, he's trying to play every killer pass. Anyway, Haas and Irimoto link up there, which is quite nice. Irimoto again now. That one looking for Real. Good flick on here. Castro's offside, so don't even worry about that. That's not, not even going to give close to counting. Offside there. It's okay though. Massively off. Your remote just needs to calm it down slightly here. Just keep that ball ticking over and you will be okay, boys. 64 minutes. Throw in for them deep in our half. Chance to whip a ball in here with Lawrence. Real wins. He's been fantastic out wide, to be fair. Iremoto now. This is where we've seen him carve teams up for Newcastle. That's a ball and a half. That time from Giuseppe. Castro's on side. That deserves to be a goal. That is exactly why we have such a good team. Real wins it. Iremoto drives. And he plays for the first time. Every time he's looked to play a dinky ball into here, a dinky ball into here. And probably for the first time out of all the highlights, this is the one time he could go a bit more direct. But the presence of mind of the Yapanezo Norwegian maestro just to drill one out there to Yosefi. And well, left them all for dead. Yosefi with a great ball. And Castro's got a brace starting up front today. And that's perfect. Well, boys, we might be in for a pretty good year. Linden, Haas. Can turn. Manuz. Great boy out of Yosefi. Drives. Backstick ball. Real heads. Keeper was out of position. That would have been a goal. Great ball in there too. We are starting to tick it over quite nicely now. 71 minutes played. I'm going to take off Arbury and give him a standing ovation and get Roy in to keep him happy. Has to be said that we have to keep him happy. Um, we're also going to get Menev in for Vial. He's been coming back from injury and just get him on there just to get some minutes. And Chavi Simmons has been complaining about not getting enough minutes. So we're going to put him out there as well. And we'll leave the rest of the changes for a little bit later on. Irimoto on a booking, but only on a 6.6. .6, I kind of want him to get a better high rating. Good ball in there, but it's cleared away. Only as far as Radu. What year is this? Season 12, mate. So 2033. Ball in back stick. Header. Lito makes a great save with the Brazilian to keep his clean sheet. Hasn't had to do anything really. Hallmark of a good keeper is when it's quiet to make a good save. We have been annoyed at Lito's keeping last year. But that was good for the Brazilian international. Thank you for the follow there, Ted Shree25. Or Shree. Anyway, Iremoto, backstick ball, Linden! Heads just over. I think with that being said, we are going to go and give Tyrone some minutes. Iremoto's just going to take a solid day boon, that's that. Um, and our last change is going to be Ernest off for Carlos. He had a very good game in the cup on his day boon as well. Here we go, boys. Opening day of the season. It's a free nil win at the moment. Chavi Simmons now. Late draws. Beats about three guys. Cross gets cleared. Joe Carlos. Linden. Giuseppe. Tyrone's inside. Got ignored. Giuseppe can beat people if he wants to. Plays Tyrone in his debut. Back to Giuseppe. Good movement. Ball in. Haas is there. Cap it off, it's 4-0. Yes, I am a Liverpool fan, as you can tell from there. Uh, but we are 4-0 up. And there we go. Giuseppe in a Tyrone. Back to Giuseppe. And, well, Haas, and there we are. 
It's a great header. And that is four. And that was not all she wrote. Was Giuseppe might be able to make a chance for five. Linden heads into the bar. It was that close to a five-star opening day. But there we go. It is Dortmund 4, Nuremberg nil, and after making two world-class signings for over $170 million worth of transfer kitty being splashed, our second season in charge of Dortmund has started with a 4 nil win. And, well, do we dare dream of this being the first year that Bayern did not win the league? Maybe, but there is going to be a long way to go. With that being said, if you have enjoyed this episode of Glory Hunters on YouTube, do give it a like, do subscribe to the YouTube channel. We, of course, live on stream as you've just seen just there as well. So come and check out the Twitch links down below. But from Damien and from everybody here on the live stream, thank you very much. See you guys next time for another episode of Glory Hunter. Thank you and goodbye. <laughs>